All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best police cars in emergency handbags, starting with the first one, which is obviously the free car. I feel like there's not much to say about this. You can all drive this. Everybody has it. It's just a bog standard Volkswagen. Damn, this thing is lovely. <laughs> Hey, it's not a bad car. It gets the job done, but oh, I've just crashed. We may as well move on to the first paid one. We're going to start with the discovery and we're going to work our way down the list. All right, so here it is now. Um, big shout out to Benders who's helping me out. He's on the traffic police team. So obviously that's why it might look a little bit different to normal. But here it is, it's like a 4x4. I think it might be electric. Um, and this thing, it looks really nice, bro. I re Honestly, I really like the look of this. Uh, I think you need to ha uh, have a game pass for this, so... Maybe you won't all be able to get it, but still, nevertheless, very cool looking car. Performance wise, I'm guessing it's probably not the fastest in the world. But yeah, we're heading back to the police station now because we've got so many to get through in this video. There's so many police cars. But yeah, absolutely. I have to say this looks really nice. I really like it. And um, I guess there's not much else to say. It feels like performance wise, it's not too bad. But obviously, as we go up the list, the cars are going to get even faster and they're going to be better for catching criminals. Uh, but yeah, with this... 4x4, four four, you'd be able to have um, multiple people in the car, so it's pretty good. Anyway, moving on to the next one, it is going to be the quad, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see what the police quad has to offer. I don't know if there's a, I don't know if this is a two-seater. I don't think it is, but um, as you can see, it's just a little quad bike. You can go off-roading with it. It's got the uh, the light on the back, and it is all in all a nice little vehicle, but um, we won't go too in-depth with that. And the little police branding on the front looks really cool as well. Anyway, the next one, let me just see the name of it. It is the Wolfsburg Karen. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm a fan of how this looks. I don't know about you guys, if you've ever considered getting it, but it kind of does look like a car a Karen would drive. Maybe that's why they called it that. It's like a little van looking thing. It's very interesting, very interesting. And uh, I'm guessing it's not very fast. It's more of a transport vehicle more than anything. And uh, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you drive this? I feel like I wouldn't. I don't know if it's free with XP, but either way, I wouldn't buy it or get it. I just think it's a bit of a, uh, a weird car. But anyway, moving on to the next one because we've got so many to get through here. Stick around to the end because we're literally going to be reviewing the, mo the hardest car to get with the most XP, which is the Advantis Mount R7. Anyway, next up, the Stuttgart Ka Kasten. I don't to say that, but this is a uh, transport vehicle, as you can see. A nice van. I really do like this, a Mercedes van. And he's having some Wi-Fi issues, so let's just uh, get a good look at the vehicle real quick. As you can see, the emergency handbag developers do an amazing job of... of uh, car modeling. I really do like it. It's almost um, very similar to ERLC. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. And uh, I really just like these style of cars. I just feel like they feel really good quality and robust. That's what I've always thought about them. The 3D wheels. Very cool. Anyway, here we go. We're on the little drive round uh, the roundabout down here. And uh, seems like a lovely vehicle to drive. If you want to be a transport vehicle, go pick up loads of people in role plays, perhaps. Um, but for all, for all in all, maybe not worth getting if you're main aim on the police is just to get xp and arrest people and get around quick i feel like that's quite self-explanatory anyway we're gonna head back here and look at the next one which i'm pretty sure is the stuttgart executive i'm pretty sure and this vehicle very similar to the starter car you'll see in a second i think it's just maybe um a more premium edition so you can see here this is uh the free version well this is a volks that's a volkswagen so this one's actually uh, a stuttgart so it's a mercedes is sort of like the similar edition they're both very similar um, but this is just a uh i guess a more premium version i'm sure it goes a bit quicker yeah we got a bit more speed on this one i feel like this one could definitely uh perform very well in a pursuit or anything so this is probably one of your safest bets to get I feel like this is a good option. So yeah, I mean, very decent car. Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite car on the list is. I definitely have to say this is one of my favorites, definitely. Anyway, we're heading back now to look at the next one. I really do like the look of this car. This looks really nice and it feels like, it, like I said, it does perform really nicely. The next one being the Wolfsburg pickup. Now, this is a pickup truck, pretty self-explanatory, but I really, I really love how many police vehicles there are in emergency Hamburg, just because, guys, it really does fuel role play. You know, if, if you guys want to do like a, I don't know, like a border role play, you can have DOT there or whatever they, what do they call it in this game? ADAC. Okay, you can have them there. And then you can also have these police pickups. Um, obviously, you can't put anything in the back, but maybe in the future you might be able to. I just think this is really nice for like road closures anything happening on the roads this is a lovely vehicle to have if they had like the same police car like there's only three police cars or maybe even just the van as well i feel like it wouldn't match every single role play setting so having a vehicle like this is really good and you got to give you got to give props to the dev you got to give props to the devs for having all of these different vehicle options anyway moving on to the next oh are you okay there buddy moving on to the next one we actually have the advantismo a6 the audi a6 now this is very similar to the advantismo rs obviously the rs6 way more sporty but this is very similar and this is the same as the admin card that you can get 
pretty sure. I do drive this quite often on, uh, as an admin. And um, yeah, the admin cars are very fast. I don't know if that maybe has boosted performance. I doubt it. But this car is very well performance. Very good performance. I really do like it. This, again, another vehicle that will just get the job done. Like it's going to do everything you need it to do. It looks really nice. Really looks sleek. And it also has a good performance. So I guess it's a win-win, I guess. This is a good option for you to for you guys to buy. The light bar on the top looks cool as well. I think we got two light bars on the back. I may be wrong. No, I don't think we do. Next up, we got the Stugart Jogger. Now, this is literally a Sprinter van. I'm pretty, am I right in saying that? That's a Sprinter van. It has quite a few seats. Was I right in saying that? It has, uh, yeah, it has quite a few seats. To, so you, so let, let me sit in the back. Okay. And this can hold very many criminals. So you could go on a spree of arresting people. And then obviously you can go uh, get some more XP. But on top of that, you can also fit a load of your police colleagues in there. So this is really cool. Way better than the uh, the other van. Definitely more of a police van. Like the other one's more of a transport van. This is like a police van. Like where you keep police inside. Really cool for role play. And I bet unmarked this also looks really cool. We got the light on the back there. We also got the light bar on the front. This is a really nice vehicle. I really like this van. I've never seen anything like it in an emergency response game like ERLC, Southwest Florida. Never seen a van like this. Um, so that's really interesting to see. And I really like the wheels on this. Very realistic. Very cool. Anyway, moving on. We have got the Wolfsburg T6. Again, another van. He's going to go spawn in another one because we don't really need to drive this, but it's just another van. It's just another van, just like the first one. It's okay. Anyway, moving on. I actually own this vehicle and it's the Advantis Mo A6. Do you know what? Let me drive it because I actually own this. Sorry, it's the Q6. My bad. It actually, it probably is called an A6. But as you can see, I own, I have it in the uh, the different livery. So they do come in different liveries. I'm going to give this one a drive since I do own it. The light bar looks really cool. And uh, the indicators on the light bar. I really like that feature. It is a really nice vehicle. To drive that's why i bought it bro like it's a really nice vehicle i do like like four by four vehicles performance wise really good like it drives really fast really nicely and yeah man like i really do like this car this looks amazing audi's are uh, brilliant bro sorry advantis most anyway let's move on to the next one don't waste you guys' time and hopefully at the end of this video you guys can uh, make a definitive decision on what police car you'd want to buy next up is the falcon traveler now this is a ford obviously so let's hop inside of that again another um quite a simple car i guess they just have so many options for like simple police cars so that there's not the same car everywhere amazing from the devs but this looks really cool a nice little ford seems more like a ford van like not a van van but if you get what i mean like it has a it's a bit more spacious. It's still a car, but it has it's more spacious. I'm guessing it has four seats. So good for transportation and good to keep some police in. But anyway, moving on to the next one. This one's pretty cool. It's more like an off-roading vehicle. It's a Stuttgart Landschaft. Let's get in the back seat against a four-seater. And uh, this looks really nice. It's got a ram bar on the front. So maybe it has better ability to ram cars. I, I highly doubt it, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. The indicator on the front, on the top, and on the back. It looks really nice. I, I barely ever see this car driven so yeah it's really nice to see it and i bet it does really well off-road as well look at that that's so cool and it's on the wing mirror as well so cool man all right next up we got two bmws the speed is just increasing and increasing uh we're at the bmw x3 so uh this is like a 4x4 bmw um we're not gonna drive this one just because it's very similar to some we've already looked at but as you can see a very nice looking vehicle 4x4 this is i believe it's an m5 i could be wrong i really do like the look of this but again, we're not going to drive it because I don't want to waste you guys' time. I'm sure you understand how it drives very quick. But now we're going to drive this next one, which is the police coach. And as you can see, this thing is huge, man. Absolutely crazy. Look how many seats this thing has. Let's get inside of it. And let's go on a little drive. Oh, my goodness. You can fit so many people in this. And right at the back right now. Obviously, the cool people. Obviously, the cool kids sit at the back. Oh, my goodness. I've never been inside of one of these coaches. It is crazy. Obviously, we've got the two lights at the front, the one at the back. This is great for role play, great for transporting a lot of police and a lot of prisoners as well. So would you buy this? Would I use it for my regular police duties? Yes. Yes, I would. Um, hey, look, it's funny. It's cool. You wouldn't be able to do pursuits in it, but it is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. It's just a coach, man. And uh, I, I just like it a lot. I really do. It's very cool. Anyway, moving on. We're now entering the big boy zone. Okay, these next vehicles are expensive, very high end. So we've got the Stuttgart GMA Commute, 26,000 XP, and this thing is going to be going very fast. It's a 4x4, which is surprising. So look at the takeoff speed. Like this thing is it's already, it's already zooming. So yeah, nobody's escaping you in this. I think he's purposely driving it slower than it can actually go, just, just for the uh, showing off purposes. But this thing, I can guarantee you, goes very fast. And the next one is also going to go very fast. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, look at this. Really nice looking car. Obviously, we've got, it's the Mercedes GMA, also something like that. But yeah, really nice car all in all. And obviously, you can fit four people in it. So that's pretty good. It's not much different to the uh, 
the A6 here, so yeah. Anyway, the last vehicle is the Advantis Mo RS4, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, this thing is just beautiful. It's just amazing. Look at the state of it. Let's get inside of it and let's see the performance. Let's see. I asked him to go as fast as he can. And let's see. Let's see how fast this thing can go if he puts his foot down. I mean, look at that. Like, no one's escaping you in this. No one is escaping you in this. I'm telling you. Look at us. Oh my goodness, bro. This thing is rapid. He's got the lights on as well. Oh my goodness. We're zooming, bro. Holy. Bro, nobody is escaping you. Nobody is escaping you. So if you can't afford this, get it, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, that is going to be all the police cars in the Magic Hamburg. Hopefully, you came to a decision on what police car you might want to get. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye. Click subscribe.